With the Oregon Children's Theater Studios on Northeast Sandy, the Oregon Children's Theater will present If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. The show plays with size and perspective, and the actor playing the little boy is actually six foot eight inches tall. Should be a lot of fun. Welcome everybody to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Ken Ackerman. This might startle you. Did you know that in more than a dozen states still across this country, you could be fired from your job for being gay or transgender? Well, a local group is fighting against this type of discrimination. Please welcome Gina Prezzini. She's executive director of Basic Rights Oregon. Whew, thank you very much for being here. I appreciate it. Well, thanks for the opportunity. Now, you know, what I just said was yeah. shocking enough, but what would shock Oregonians is, it was only 2008 when you couldn't be fired anymore for being gay or transgender. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It was just, uh, you know, five years ago, four years ago now that uh, we passed the um, Oregon Equality Act, which ensures that you can, anywhere in this state, you can no longer be fired for being gay or transgender, or turned away from a restaurant or a hotel, denied housing. No, wait, wait so wait. So tell me, tell me what uh, gay and transgender uh, folks fight daily in, in just everyday life. Sure, sure. You know, I think that we have come a long way since the days of the anti-gay ballot measures that plagued Oregon for two, you know, two decades. There were more than two dozen state and local measures that really attacked the basic rights, the basic dignity of uh, gay and transgender Oregonians. And um, we haven't seen an anti-gay ballot measure since 2004. Um, we have seen tremendous progress with the Oregon Equality Act and the Family Fairness Act that extends some protections for couples. These anti-gay measures, tell me mm -hmm. about them. Measure 9? Yes, 13. 9, 13, 9 again, measure 36 so, tell and us so a little forth. bit about these. Uh, you know, they were um, ballot measures that really uh, tried to um, keep in place the kind of policies that would um, keep gay and transgender folks um, from finding gainful employment, from serving as teachers, from establishing um, you know, marriage equality. All of these issues have, have sort of been in play at the ballot uh, here in Oregon. And that's actually why Basic Rights Oregon was formed, was to um, support the community in responding, um, bring allies to the work to make sure that we could not just stop the, the anti-gay measures from happening, but actually start to progress in terms of equality here it, in Oregon. It seems like an antiquated way of thinking and yeah. I said, well, does Oregon lag behind the rest of the country in this way of thinking? You said, mm, no. No, you know, we do have some um, tremendous, uh, we've made some tremendous progress. We have strong policies in place. Um, our safe schools and anti-bullying legislation is some of the best in the country. Um, we do have the non-discrimination law, the Equality Act now that protects folks in employment. Um, so in some ways, we're ahead of the curve. And in other ways, you know, we're still struggling with families who aren't recognized. Um, we're working to establish the freedom to marry here in Oregon mm -hmm. because, you know, whether you're gay or straight, marriage is really about how you um, define family. It says, you know, we're family like no other word. It's about love and commitment and caring for one another in good times and bad. And here in Oregon, our state constitution still excludes loving and committed same-sex couples. Now you say we've come a long way, but you were talking about when I interrupted a little bit about what you face daily. Mm -hmm. Can't check into some hotels. Tell me that Sure. Well, the, you know, we now have the statewide law here in Oregon. So um, we have protections for public accommodations and employment and housing and so forth, whereas many states across this country don't. And we're um, part of a sort of national coalition working to pass federal legislation to make sure that no matter where you live in this country, if you're gay or transgender, you won't face that kind of discrimination. But here in Oregon, you know, we still have um, folks who um, struggle daily with, um, you know, much in this tough economic mm -hmm. time when you're not able to um, marry your partner and provide the sort of benefits that come with marriage. There's um, challenges and additional costs associated with that when you are, you know, a transgender person trying to access health care and almost every insurance policy in this state has specific exclusions. So really? you can't access counseling or, um, you know, sort of basic medically necessary health care that other folks can. The those are the types of challenges that our community continues to face. Gina, I want to mention Oregonians Against Discrimination Business Leaders Luncheon. We're going to have all the information on your website. That's right. And we'll put that up. Thank you, Gina, for joining us on Comcast Newsmakers. I appreciate the time. All right. Thank you for being here as well. For the crew here, I'm Ken Ackerman. Make it a great day.